Hey, 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 we're back again for another video on Michael the Meme King. Welcome back all you fellow gamers and meme creators. Michael the Meme King back again for another video on uh, the lovely channel of uh, Man vs. History. Uh, as you guys probably know, we, uh, we checked uh, one, of the, one of his videos uh, a while ago. And uh, that one got like, I think, 12 views. And um, first off, do you guys know how hard it is for me to get like six views, let alone 12? It's, it's a lot harder than it, it's a lot harder than it seems. Uh, and Man vs. History probably definitely understands that. So yeah, we're gonna be reacting to another one of his videos. Uh, and yeah, let's see if we can get 12 views again. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is histor historical accuracy of catalog prices in Red Dead Online. So I'm going to check it out right now and hopefully no ads pop up. Of that I've been pulling a couple videos down and then putting some other videos up. I'm trying to figure out Google AdSense and try to get approval, but I keep getting policy violations. Uh, I wasn't sure if maybe I had some music software going in the background or if there was something in there that was violating it. But anyway, uh, if you see some videos kind of going up and being taken down, um, that's what's going on. So just kind of sort this out and figure out what's what. But thank you guys for your patience and uh, with video again. At the Sears and Robux 1898 catalog, which is what the uh, Wheeler and Rawson catalog is based on. And uh, we're going to compare the historically accurate 1898 prices with the Red Dead prices, and we're going to see how far off uh, Rockstar is on this. All right, we're going to start with the express cartridges here. So in 1898, uh, for 30 cartridges, it's $2.16. Uh, these are actually still going to be sold in boxes of 110 sake of compared to the Red Dead. So it's cents and 30. The Red Dead price is actually only 80 cents for 30. That's a mark down of 263%, which is pretty surprising for the Rockstar. All right, next we're going to look at what would be sort of a health tonic. And this is nerve and brain pills. Uh, these things uh, retail for $3 for six boxes, because six boxes is supposed to cure anybody of anything. So we're looking about $3.1898 for a full health cure. Uh, the Red Dead Online price is $4.50, uh, so that's not too bad, it's about a 50% markup. But what you want probably is the Mexican headache cure, uh, which is guaranteed and it only costs about 25 cents. That doesn't work with what the old Nebulous Injection 7, shoot that in your body and shoot it in fine. Or when in doubt, go with the old Spirits of Turpentine, but you're going you're to want to make sure that you get the pure article, never the ones that are generally sold and mixing with paints. A lot of coffee. So in 1898, a pound of coffee was about 28 cents. And in Red Dead, we're going to assume that this is a pound of coffee as well, and it's a dollar. So not bad. It's a bit of a markup, 257%. Hope you guys can uh, hear this. A pound of coffee. What's odd though is from a pound of coffee, you get 45 cups of coffee. So either in Red Dead, you are drinking very strong coffee, uh, or you might not be getting your money's worth. All right, we're going to be moving on here to pineapple. So pineapple comes in a lot of ways, extra standard, sliced extra, grated extra, um, even shredded pineapple. And the average price of all these is about 18 cents uh, for roughly a two pound can. And remember, if you're going to get shredded pineapple, it's the finest thing to put up in the tank. All right, uh, big valley pineapple in red bed. You're looking at $1.50 per can. That's a 757% markup. All right, let's talk canned salmon. So canned salmon in 1898 was 12 cents per can. It's a one pound can. And the Rockstar price, probably gonna be a little higher, quite a bit higher. $2 per can of salmon. That is a 1,567% markup. It's kind of odd, uh, $2 per can when you can buy one pound of Russian caviar for only seven cents. Yeah. All right, as far as fishing lures, the most expensive lure I could find in 1898 was this musty trolling minnow, and it was $1.22 a kilo. 
most expensive word I find in the uh, Rockstar price, $20, $20 for a lure. That's 1,539% increase. Let's talk wagons. In 1898, you could buy a wagon for $36.90. That was just the average price of a wagon. Rockstar is probably going to charge you $875 for a wagon. That's a 2,271% increase. That's not even close to being historically accurate, obviously. Um, in 1898, you, you could afford about 23 wagons for that price, or if you prefer, one wagon with 1,200 pounds of caviar. Let's talk work gloves here. So your standard leather work gloves with lining is going to run you about 28 cents per pair in 1898. Uh, Rockstar's price is 14.50. That's a huge markup, 5,079%. That, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty but the truth of the matter is, you don't need work gloves. You don't. What you need is to put dogs to work for you. Introducing the double dog butter churner. Okay? I can put you in this thing for $22.55, fully decked out. All right, hammer time. Let's talk hammers. Okay? The average price in 1898 for a hammer is only 88 cents. Red Dead is not going to charge you 88 cents, so they're going to charge you $75. $75. For a classic hammer that's a hard hitting melee weapon, 8,471% increase. Look, any hammer is a hard hitting melee weapon, just to be honest. What, what you have to understand is that. Hang on, guys. This is a dumb ad. There. You can buy uh, okay. a complete. It's better. I'm going to turn the volume up a little bit just in case. Oh, well, already at as much as I can get it. So if you guys can hear this, just let me know. Your own blacksmith shop in 1898, only $31. So a hammer costing you $75, uh, that is quite All right, we're going to be looking at sweaters here. In 1898, the most fancy expensive sweater I could find was a worsted wool sweater. It's called the Alaskan sweater for 50 cents. Rockstar has a worsted sweater for $43 in their catalog. That's an 8,500% increase. Get out of Yeti or what? All right, let's talk cartridge belts. Um, in Red Dead, they call these bandoliers. In 1898, your average cartridge belt was $1.20. Uh, in Red Dead, it's going to be a whole lot more expensive. It's going to be $197.50 per cartridge belt. That is an increase of $16,358. Uh, mind you, that's only an average of the single cartridge belts, not the doubles. Uh, the most expensive belt I could find in 1898 is something called the electric belt, which, to be honest, looks like something Uncle Rico would have worn to go back in time. All right, on shovels. So in 1898, the most expensive, fanciest spade steel shovel I could find was 85 cents. Rockstar for that shovel is going <laughs> to charge you $350. That shovel, that's a 41,076% markup. Uh, that is absolutely outrageous. Uh, and I know that's expensive because I bought one. Don't remember when I bought it, but I know I bought it. Some perspective here. Uh, for, that, for that price, you could purchase about four grand pianos in 1898 for that price. And look, I know it's a state of the art shovel and all, but. Uh, that's just, all right, last one on the list. The very last one here that we're going to cover is the scoop pot. Now, in 1898, your iron stove pot price, the most expensive one I could find was 36 cents. Red Dead is going to charge you, not 38 cents, you will be charged $650. $650 for a stew pot, okay? That's a 180,455% online markup on a stew pot. Okay. A school belt in 1898 for 20 bucks and turn it upside down and make it into the world's largest stew pot. You can get the entire stove furnishing line from Acme with multiple cooking pots, everything you would ever need, uh, and all the accessories for a whopping $7. You can also get the Acme 
nickel-plated royal range, which is the most expensive stone available in the Sears and Robot catalog in 1898. And it's going to cost you $28.50. <laughs> Look, the best perspective maybe I can give you on this is, is to give you an idea of what you could get for that price. Okay, so. 1998, according to the annual report of the Commission's of Railroads, Secretary of the Interior, fiscal year 1898, you could buy one acre of uncultivated land in the Midwest for around $3. So what does this mean? So this means that you could have a stew pot or you could have yourself 267 acres of uncultivated Midwestern land. All right, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to stop right there because, as you can see, an ad is going to try and interrupt it, but I'm not going to let it. So, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, uh, this guy states, Man vs. History states that uh, prices are ridiculous in Red Dead Online. The Pennington, the Pennington Field Shovel is expensive and I know that because I bought one as the collector role and um, the stew pot is of course expensive because I also bought one in Red Dead Online because uh, I don't know if you guys know this but in Red Dead Online I play as all three roles and um, as you know there's like I think there's five total roles so I, I only have the three for right now but uh yeah, so while I, I spent my time as a trader, I basically just went scrounging for money, and I eventually had enough to where I can get a, a, a stew pot. So, you know, I focused a lot on camp upgrades. Uh, I should probably do that more now. But anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave it right here. Um, this has been a video from man versus history this guy i swear is a genius and if you're watching this video keep doing what you're doing man versus history you are one of the best and you've really given me some content to put on my channel and i really hope i don't get copyrighted for this because <laughs> uh yeah i'm just gonna stop right there so if you guys did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe the video and um, make sure to, I've already said like, so you can't really do that. Make sure to comment the video and tell me what you want me, what you want uh, me to view on the channel. And uh, I will gladly do that. And uh, yeah, have a nice day. All right, how do I get this thing to work? All right. Okay. Huh, so what else should I do? Uh, a lot. Wait, is this still recording? Oh.